Hey guys, it's Lisa from tocreatorwebsite.com and today I'm going to show you how to update your WordPress header. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions about this. If you're new to WordPress, this may be a little intimidating. So I'm going to try to make this as cut and dry and simple as I can. Just understand that because you're using WordPress, you are going to have to start understanding a little bit about CSS and even HTML. Uh, before you can do this successfully. But I'm just going to do the basics and hopefully you'll learn and you'll be able to see that you can apply this lesson to any part of your blog, whether it's your sidebar, your footer, or whatnot. What you're looking at, you're probably wondering what happened to my blog. <laughs> what you're looking at is my blog on my computer. I have a local version of WordPress installed on my computer. And it's something you really should do if you use WordPress because you can test things out before going live. And if you want to learn how to do that, just go to my blog and do a search for install WordPress on Windows and you will find a post where I give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. It's free, just takes maybe 15-20 minutes to set up. So the first thing I'm going to teach you how to do is change this blue header. Let's say you don't like this blue and you want the background to do something completely, completely different. With WordPress, what you have to understand is that your blog is broken up into different files. You've got your header file, your footer file, your sidebar file, and so on. Since this image is in the header, um, you're going to assume you're probably going to edit the header.php file in your WordPress admin panel. So let's go over to the WordPress admin panel. You're going to go to Appearance, click Editor, which I've already clicked. Come over here to the right and look for header.php. There we go. Because I'm familiar with CSS, I kind of know what to look for. But if you're not, one thing you can do is do a control F on your keyboard and do a search for header and do next until you see something like div ID equals header. There we go down here at the bottom. So right here, this whole area right here is what makes up this header of your blog. Just breaking it down very quickly. This line right here is the title of your blog, and this line right here is the description. Now, what if you want to change the image? What I usually do if I'm trying to figure out how a blog theme was designed, I'll right click the image and do view background image to make sure that it's an image. Sometimes it's a background color, other times it's an image. In this case, it's an image, and this is the location of that image on your server. So I'm assuming you know a little bit about FTPing and you know how to FTP files or save files to your server. So the name of this image here is kubrickheader.jpg. So let's say I just want to change this. One thing you can do and what I would do, hopefully you have access to a graphics program like Photoshop or PaintShop Pro. And you're going to say copy image and you're going to open up Photoshop and you're going to do file new. Say OK. And I'm going to paste that image just like that. Now, just for the sake of simplicity, let's just paint it another color. So I'm going to choose the paintbrush tool, come over to my foreground color, and let's just, let's keep it the color we've got. Let's do this red color here. Say OK. And I've got the paintbrush or the paint bucket tool selected, so I'm just going to click inside this blue area. I might have to do it a couple times. And just like that, it has changed the color of the header. Now, I'm kind of a perfectionist, or I'm becoming a perfectionist with this stuff sometimes. As you can see, it's not quite straight, so I would probably clean that up a little bit, but for the sake of time, we're not. Some of the edges are kind of jagged, but in the essence of time, we're going to pretend like it's perfect. Actually, let's put, some, let's put a little bit of text on it, too. Use the text tool here. Change the color. This is my blog. So we're going to save this image. OK, for the sake of editing, I've already saved it in the appropriate folder. So now we're back inside the WordPress admin panel. And anytime you're going to change a global style for your blog, like for example here, your header would be a global style, the background color of this header. So you always come over here, and you're going to look for your style.css file, which is your style sheet. Every blog has a style sheet. This is what governs the entire look of your blog in a place that you probably will become very familiar with. So remember, we're changing the header. So usually we're going to use, we're going to search for the word header. 
I'm going to do pound header, but that's just because I know with CSS, you typically start a new section with pound. So that's why I knew to do that. Um, so here we are with pound header and there is the header section. So this area right here gives the header its style. See background, this is a background color, but then it's hidden by this blue image. See, here is that blue image, the cubic header. That's the path. So I just changed that header and I, I saved it in, into a new file, the one that I just created in Photoshop, this one right here. So we're gonna replace this header with the one I created and I named it new header dot JPEG and I saved it in that same folder. So I'm gonna come down here, say update file. And now I'm gonna hit refresh. And just like that, I've got a new header for my blog. Wasn't that easy? Once you understand where files are located, then changing your WordPress blog is really, really not that difficult. Now, if you wanted to remove this text, remember that was in your header.php file. Styles are typically in the style sheet, you know, styles and colors, and then text are usually in the corresponding PHP file. So if you want to change text in your footer, you'd open up the footer.php file. So just for the heck of it, let's get rid of those two lines. Remember I told you this is the, the header, or excuse me, the title, and this is the description. So actually we can get rid of this whole section here. This whole section that starts div ID equals header image. Backspace that out, update file. Refresh, and it's gone. Now I'm gonna show you how to add a banner. Okay, again, CSS. Gotta have a basic understanding of CSS, guys, if you wanna get into this. Let's do control find for header again. We're back in the style sheet. I created a new class and I called it header banner. You can call it whatever you want, just make sure it has a pound in front of it and I gave it a position. This is where it's going to, to be positioned. 135 pixels from the left, excuse me, from the top, and 140 pixels from the left. That's the positioning of the banner. And I also had to add position relative to the header section because this is where this is located. I really don't have time because I got a 10 minute limit on this channel to go into why, but you have to put this in your header in order for this to work. So. You go back to your header.php file. And I've already done it to save time. I've added a new line down here. I had it commented out. Let me uncomment it. And this line right here, div ID equals header banner. Remember, that's what I called it. And then this is the code for the banner. Just race basic HTML code. So I'm gonna say update file. And I'm gonna hit F5. And there's the banner. Now let's say you wanted to move that banner up. Go back to the style sheet, style.css. Remember I showed you those coordinates. Let's do control F. Say you wanna move it up. See, we have 135 from the top. Let's make it 95 from the top. And that's pixels. That's what the PX stands for. So you're going to say update file. Refresh. And just like that, the banner moves. So guys, that's pretty much how you update a header in Photoshop. Now, every blog is going to be different. So you're gonna to have to kind of apply this information and change it to fit your blog. But that's the basic principles for updating a WordPress blog. You have to find out what file the you know sp specific section you're trying to edit is located in, and then you change that file, and then you also change the style sheet to affect the actual style. So I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Phew, I just made the 10 minutes.